Bonjour, hello, my name is Adrielle. So if you are watching this video, it is because you are about to head off to Europe. Congratulations, I'm so excited for you. Or maybe, frankly, you're not about to head off to Europe and you just want to have European summer like where you are. That's cool too. Either way, I would consider myself to be kind of an expert at this point at European Summer because I live in Paris and last year I spent two weeks in Greece, the year before that I spent a month traveling around Italy with my boyfriend and then this year we're actually planning to go and spend a month traveling around Spain because you know these European vacations are like three weeks here. So as a result I am really excited to do a video showing you what you should be wearing to Europe this summer for your whole European summer look. But before we get into it, if you want to stay in the know on all things Paris, style, and beauty, please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell so you get notified of each and every new video. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so I have been talking about this on my social media videos and whatnot, and if you wanna see my outfits every day, you can actually like subscribe to my Instagram because I always like am posting my outfits in my stories. I'm also like giving like daily life updates in my stories and like just funny moments about living in Paris, so you can definitely check that out if you want to. But I really wanna show you like some of the looks that I think are really perfect for going around Europe this summer. And these looks, I would say, will work not just if you're coming to Paris or you're coming to France, but also they're gonna work for Italy, they'll work for Spain, they're, they're gonna kind of like work for Greece, they'll work for all over the place. And so I'm gonna show you some outfits that I think would look really nice for your trip. Now, let's talk about how you should pack for your trip before we get into like the specific looks. So the thing is, I will tell you this, when I went to Italy for a month, I traveled with one carry-on luggage. One carry-on suitcase, and then I had a backpack, and that was it. Same thing also for when I went to Greece. I would like to strongly, strongly discourage you <laughs> from taking a gigantic suitcase. Um, Europe is not handicapped accessible. I mean, it is old. <laughs> There are stairs, lots and lots of stairs and lots and lots of cobblestone. So you're really gonna wanna be kind of conscientious about kind of how you pack. And so as a result, I really strongly recommend sticking with just a few limited pieces and really kind of making those work for you throughout your trip. Frankly, washing things, like it's, it's really simple, like laundromats are everywhere, but also like wash something in your hotel, hotel or Airbnb or whatnot. Um, it's just gonna make, I think, your trip a lot easier um, for, for packing and kind of enjoying it, right? Because you're not gonna have to worry about trucking tons of luggage with you. I'm going to really help keep it simple for you because when I travel, yes, I wanna look cute, but I want my looks to easily go from day to night. And so I'm really focused on that. I'm really focused on comfort um, and you know, also being cool because here in Europe, there just really isn't AC. So you're gonna have to really think about like, how do I stay cool? You don't want like things that are gonna cling to your body and be heavy. So you wanna think about those things when you're packing, when you're choosing what to wear. I'm gonna strongly recommend, you know, light fabrics, natural fabrics, like cotton, linen, that sort of thing, because it's really going to be much more versatile. So, with that said, let's get into some specific outfits that you can wear and how I recommend you styling and packing things. The first item I'm showing you is this dress. I actually bought it in Greece. As you can see, it's really flowy. When I think about the dresses that I pack and bring with me to these different destinations, I really think about it in terms of, you know, going for simple patterns, um, simple colors, you know, nothing that's going to draw, frankly, too much attention to myself or make me stand out too much as a tourist. So I always really try to think about like, okay, well, what what does kind of what do I think about when I think of Greece well when you think about Greece you think of 
white, you think of gold, you think of the Greek gods, right? So that's really what I thought about when choosing what pieces to wear for like my Greece trip. So this is something that will go perfectly in Greece, that will go perfectly in Italy. It's just something that's light and simple and airy. And that's really, I think, what you what you want when you're looking at kind of a place like, like that. So these, I think, would be perfect for both Greece and Italy, is something like this. Okay. So here is another item that I would also say is a really perfect outfit for, you know, any place really in Europe, is this beautiful strapless dress. It's in this beautiful butternut, butterscotch color. It is from the brand Tove Studio. If you saw one of my, like, last videos I did on, like, my, what I bought in, I bought, you know, this is like a dress that was featured. As you can see, this dress is really simple, really easy, really light. It is a bit long. I tend to opt for at least like midi length dresses when I travel around Europe because I think they're the most versatile. If you're going into like churches or something, that way you're covered, your, your legs are covered. A lot of places like churches, mosques, um, other holy sites do not want you walking in in a short dress or kind of with your shoulders exposed. So I would actually wear something like this and then I'd bring like a scarf, like I'd have a pashmina in my bag so that I could easily put that on. So that's why I tend to like though like midi um, length dresses to like ankle length dresses because you can easily, you don't have to worry about getting into sights. So this is what um, another option that I think would be really great. Again, a beautiful summery light color and you could see a color like this in really any European city. So I think it makes a great option. Okay, so here is another dress. I bought this dress from Cezanne. One of the things I think is great about this dress is it has like this like cool little eyelet detail, which gives it a bit of visual interest and a bit of fun. But again, see, it's like a nice like midi length dress for you and the back is open. So it's a great dress for really hot days, like the air is like flowing and so you don't feel like your clothes are sticking to you. Again, if you plan to go into like certain holy sites, you are going to need to be covered. So always you'll want to have like a pashmina in your bag, especially if you're going to have something like this on. But as you can see, look, it really is nice. It really is airy. It really is a type of dress that's very, would be very perfect for kind of this European summer, effortless, cool, whatnot. And of course, like, the other dresses the you know this dress is washable you know so is the white one and so it's it's easy to kind of maintain this is one of my favorite dresses and i have had it for years okay i bought this dress from banana republic forever ago like probably 10 years ago and as you can see i'm still wearing it rocking strong this dress has come with me on multiple euro trips okay and the reason why is because it's stripes I really think a dress that is kind of off the shoulder with stripes is always very, very versatile for a European vacation. I think you'll really fit in no matter what country you're in. So this is the dress and this one goes a little bit past my knee so it's not all the way kind of doesn't hit like mid calf or ankle like the other dresses this dress really hits like right below my knee as you can see and again you want th the reason why is because again if you're trying to go see certain holy sites or certain places you do have to have um, your legs mostly covered so you'll want a dress that goes down past your knees and so that's why this is a really great dress plus it's again easy to wash very breezy very nice very chic so i really really love this and the stripes i think really elevate it and will fit in really well in any country have another dress for you if you're getting the pattern so this is a dress j crew liberty london as you can see the back is open back here like this and then um so that it's kind of breathable on the sides it ties right here although it is a dress so it is one piece again 100 percent cotton so can wash it and whatnot um it goes down past the knee like the other dresses so um it hits kind of like perfectly at this like midpoint down here and um so that makes it really like 
easy enough for whatever sites you might be going into. And then of course, because it's cotton, it's very lightweight, it's breathable, it's airy. Now, why I like this is because the pattern is very simple. I think that this makes it a very versatile Euro dress because the pattern is really, really simple. In some countries, you're gonna see pretty quickly like what the style is. And But the thing is, if you're traveling around to a bunch of different countries, you want clothing that's gonna work really in any country, right? Like anywhere you are. So that's why I'm really sticking with, if you're noticing, very simple colors, very simple patterns, things that are very versatile that would blend in really anywhere in any type of country. So this is a green and white with this very simple floral pattern. So it's quite chic and elevated still, but it's, you're gonna feel very much like a local. You'll, you'll blend in quite nicely anywhere. Forgive this dress, it's a little bit wrinkled. I tried to steam it, but um, this dress is linen and so like I steamed it and, this, and like the wrinkles came out and then I like, it fell over and the wrinkles went right back in it. But <laughs> the point is, is this, I always love to travel with at least one white dress, okay? So this white dress is a linen white dress and it is so perfect. Part of the reason I really love traveling with one white dress and one black dress is for, oh wow, the sun just went down really fast, uh, a cloud came. So the reason I like to travel with, you know, a white linen dress and a black dress is mainly because those are two dresses that are easiest to go from day to night. They are the easiest dresses to like wear at night and have them, you know, really still look nice. So I really, really love this dress i have worn it many times on many trips again it's way past the knee so it's midi length like a lot of the other dresses i've shown you it um unfortunately does not have pockets which is a bummer but other than that as you see it's really easy it's really airy it just has two buttons right here it snaps two buttons in here and then it has these two and i'm good right like i'm i'm comfortable and i'm happy in this dress and it fits really really nicely oops you can see my bra um but it fits really nicely it's actually a dress you don't have to wear a bra with and i only want to travel with dresses that i don't have to wear a bra with i use pasties i pop pasties over my nipples and then i go <laughs> so i think that that is like makes it it's another reason why i just like love this dress and i just love how easy and effortless it is Last but not least, a simple black dress. Okay, this dress, I bought this dress from Madewell forever ago. This is a really simple, easy black dress that you can wear out at night. So if you're going to a nice dinner and you wanna have something to put on, black is always easy to throw on. So this is kind of the black dress that I always bring with me when I travel, okay? So here you have it, you can see how great it looks, how stunning, how just generally effortless. I, I really just like this dress. I think it's such a great, easy dress to travel with and it's easily to pop into, you know, the suitcase. All right, so now I've shown you what, seven dresses? So seven dresses is basically what I'd bring if I was traveling for seven days. If I was traveling for 14 days, I'd bring 14 dresses. And if I was traveling for anything more than 14 days, I would still bring only 14 dresses. I literally probably would not bring more than that. Um, as far as mixing and matching, I know that a lot of people are really big on, oh, bring two skirts and then bring three different tops and you can mix and match. I actually think that's more complicated um, because it just requires you to think a lot more. So when, when I went to Greece, when I used to visit Europe, when I would, did all that travel, I was really always happy when I just brought 14 dresses. That's 14 things you can roll up into your luggage, simple enough. And the thing is, you know you're gonna shop along the way, you know you're gonna pick up a few pieces. And so it's much easier to like add to your luggage if you just, if you keep your outfit simple and you just pack 14 like different dresses, then, then, then you're good. As far as undergarments, I actually would usually pack seven days so seven days of underwear, um, seven, like very rarely do I wear a bra in the summer. Like I tend to have my pasties. Um, I bring a couple pasties, maybe a couple bras, and then that would be it. <laughs> um, so that's how I would do it. And then I would wash along the way. 
and I always found that to be really simple. In my other video where I talked about what to wear to Paris, I showed you the type of shoes. I only recommend bringing two pairs of shoes and two bags, okay? So let me show you the bags that I kind of walked around Europe in. Okay, so I did an outfit change for you on you, but um, just because I wanted a bit more comfortable dress while I continued the video. So the bag that I carried with me the most while I was in Greece was this. This long shrunk bag. And the reason why is because you can fit so much stuff in this bag. Uh, what I always do when I carry this bag is I actually have another bag, like a smaller pochette that I will put inside of it. And then I will also put like my pashmina inside of it. And the thing that's great about this bag is you can hold, carry it like this, like by hand, or you can hold, put it like this. And so it's a just, it's a very outfit versatile bag. And so that's why I love it. Um, so yeah, this long chomp bag is like, it is my Euro hero. Um, so yes. And as I said, you know, you have another bag inside of here, a uh, like a bigger bag that holds, you know, things like your wallet and whatnot, so that that stuff is all contained in one place, because I do know that this is like netting, <laughs> but it's actually a very, very versatile bag. The second bag that I always bring with me is just a regular Longchamp tote, right? So I always like to travel with these. I think these are the best travel bags, um, because you can fit so much stuff in it, especially if you want to have a camera and stuff. And when you zip it and you seal it, as long as you hold it close to you, like like this, you know, no one's getting into that bag. So it's a, it's a really great solid bag to have. Okay, so another great bag to carry around is a crossbody bag. This is the third bag that I usually bring with me when I travel. It's my Polin, um, it's a mini. I believe it's num um, numero un mini. Um, and I really like to travel with this because it is a crossbody. It has a really nice clasp and you can put your hand on it like this when you are on the subway or walking down the street in a crowded space so that no one can open it. And I find that this bag can basically fit all of the, like, all the stuff I generally want. So that's why I really like this bag and it's very versatile. It will go with kind of like any of my outfits, which is another reason that I absolutely love this bag for travel. <laughs> Okay, so a couple last items to note. I also always travel with a hat. Um, generally this one, I can't really put it on because I have my, my puffy hair today, but generally this one. <laughs> so normally it's like this, I'll wear it like that, but I tend to wear um, this a lot. I find that it's really perfect for traveling just to protect your face because you're exposed to a lot of sun. I also sometimes will carry this one. So this one might go on my puffy hair, no. <laughs> but I also tend to carry um, this hat also. I I got it from ASOS. I love that it has like this little tie around it. It's it's perfect for keeping it around your head. Um, this one right here I got from Monopri, so I got it a while ago, but you can find similar hats to that style um, kind of all over Europe. But I do love to travel with a hat on because it is so hot and you're outside and you're visiting so many sites that I think that it's really important just to do whatever you can to protect your, your face. Last but not least, of course, are shoes and what shoes you wear. So I, when I travel to both Greece and Italy, when I was there for those summers um, and I did my our like three week trips, I only traveled with two pairs of shoes, y'all. Um, yeah, I would strongly, strongly recommend you keep the shoe game simple. <laughs> uh, there is no need to get too complex. You are going to want super comfortable shoes. So for me, I basically travel with two pairs of sandals that I know to be incredibly comfortable and incredibly walkable. And if you saw my, um, you know, what to wear in Paris video, you will know like exactly the shoes. I showed you exactly the shoes that I recommend. But um, so, you know, go look at that video because that video, like the, the shoes that I showed you in that video are gonna be, be perfect. But the thing is you are really gonna wanna opt for just comfortable shoes, comfortable shoes. So that means, for example, like very low wedges are always gonna be comfortable. Birkenstocks can be really nice, really comfortable. Um, 
There's also a brand called Mephisto that's pretty well known and that's a very comfortable shoe brand. It's pretty well known around Europe. And then of course, you know, you also have other brands that tend to make quite comfortable shoes like Stuart Weitzman. And there's another company I really like, like Charleston Shoe Company makes really nice, comfortable, low wedges. And then of course, you know, Adidas sneakers, like always bring just one pair of Adidas sneakers. If you are going out, you know, or you think you'll be going out and you want to dress up a little bit, I would say a nice kitten heel, like a very low kitten heel sandal, and that's it. And just bring one pair of those. Don't expect that it's going to be something you're going to be wearing a lot because you really are not. Like, trust me, cobblestone. It's just no joke. <laughs> Okay, and one final thing to note, I mean, of course, you really are free to just wear whatever you want to wear for your European summer vacation, but I do want to strongly encourage you to try to think through kind of like, you know, the importance of blending in a bit. You really don't want to stand out as a tourist because it will attract the attention of pickpockets and other people who frankly are just up to no good so i really just want to encourage you um to to you know embrace you know some of the tips that i've offered in this video about how to think about styling and how to think about dressing i also want to strongly discourage shorts in most european cities like shorts aren't a super huge thing i know that that is definitely true for france italy and also greece i know that that's kind of not really a big thing so you want to be cautious about wearing shorts and if you do wear shorts shorts you're going to want to opt for something that's a bit longer right so some something a bit um more of a bermuda style or looser style nothing too short or, or tight so feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments i am always available to help and also take a look at my socials um, go look at my